Hey everyone, it's your girl Charlene from the Happy Cat Hotel Franchising and today I have a very special guest with me. It is our certified feline master groomer, Hillary. Hi everyone. <laughs> so Hillary is with us today to talk all things cat grooming and why don't you start by telling us a little bit about how you got into it. That all started when I worked in corporate America. I worked at a very nice office job for about six and a half years. And after a while, I didn't want to do it anymore. Um, I just knew that I needed a job with animals because that's really what makes me happy. Um, and I just started looking on, I think it was Craigslist. I just typed in <laughs> animal jobs around me. <laughs> and I stumbled across a dog walking and pet sitting position um, with a local company here in town. And one thing led to another and the owners who own that company then opened up the cat hotel so i started working there and then fast forward about another year they incorporated grooming and as soon as i heard there was going to be grooming at the happy cat hotel i said sign <laughs> me up and it just kind of and fell now into you're my our master groomer and now i'm the certified feline master groomer for happy cat hotel so everyone's main question is why should you groom your cat my answer to that is why shouldn't you groom your cat? There are endless reasons to have your cat groomed. Um, I'll try to sum it up. Uh, <laughs> cats have skin and cats have hair, just like humans and dogs and horses, and it gets dirty from time to time and it needs to be cleaned on a regular basis for optimum skin and coat health. Plus it just prevents a world of problems by keeping your cat on a regular grooming schedule. So cats don't clean themselves? No. Absolutely not. Um, we call it grooming, but really they're just licking. When when we clean ourselves, do we lick ourselves? No. We take a shower with soap and water. Um, we don't take our dog to the dog groomer and expect it to get licked for two hours. <laughs> it's not clean. It's not cleaning. Um, it's just they're just spreading saliva all throughout their coat. Um, they're stomping around in litter boxes all day, and then so they're you know getting litter particles and dust in the, in their coat. Um, a lot of this you can't even see, and they're lying all over your furniture, your pillows, your bed, you name it. Just nastiness everywhere. Nastiness, yeah. <laughs> so I know that some vets also <clears throat> offer grooming services, yes. and sometimes that comes with anesthesia. Yes. So what do you, what's your process like here? We are proud that we are a 100% anesthesia free <laughs> facility. Uh, we do not sedate cats in order to groom them. We don't believe that it's even necessary. Um, something like that should be done only in the most extreme of circumstances. And all of my years grooming here, I've never, I've never met a cat that I thought needed to be sedated to be groomed. Um, a, groomer who is properly trained in the in, in cat handling cat specific handling and grooming can groom a cat without any sedatives and what about um the notion that everyone thinks cats hate water is that true no not at all cats really like getting bathed if if it's done correctly again it it is a trained professional trained in cat specific grooming and handling they really do like it. They like the warm water, they love getting scrubbed, and they, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a matter of introducing them to the water correctly. Um, and again, that's something that only a certified feline master groomer should be doing. And what do you say to the people who think that you can't groom their cat? Well, first of all, everybody tells me that I can't groom their cat, <laughs> and I always end up grooming their cat. Um, I say let me be the judge of that. Um, every cat, every new cat that I meet, I do a physical and temperament assessment. Um, I gauge the cat's general health, um, age, things like that. Um, and then we discuss what services are appropriate for that cat because not all services are appropriate for every cat. Um, and during that assessment, if I feel that I cannot provide the service or for whatever reason I can't groom that cat, then I don't accept that cat for grooming. And that's very rare. And the last question we have today is, does grooming help with allergies? Ooh, good one. <laughs> yes, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, 
humans are allergic to a protein that's in the cat saliva. We're not actually allergic to the cat because it's a cat. We're allergic to the saliva that it has spread all over its coat all day, every day, since the day it was born, <laughs> basically. Um, so just washing that off of the cat every, I, I recommend every month, um, will really, really reduce allergy uh, reactions at home. Um, the cats are, they're licking that saliva all over their fur and then they're shedding that fur all over the environment. So now you're allergic to the cat and the environment. So just getting that cat washed on a regular basis will really help with that. Well, thank you so much, Hillary. That's all we <laughs> have you. for today. And stay tuned because she'll be in more videos all about cat grooming and cat health soon. Thank you. Bye.